What's up everyone? This is your daily dose of mental health. Um, and in this video, we will be discussing what I like to call for me, the Monday grind. Um, before I go any further, if you like my content, please like and subscribe in this channel. We will be covering um, essentially my life journey with um, how battling drug addiction and how I'm staying clean. We will also be covering um, a variety of different mental health disorders. I'm a psych RN and I've seen a lot of different, I've seen essentially all mental health disorders from drug addiction to schizophrenia, schizoaffecto disorder in the psych setting, um, bipolar, you name it. Um, and also just uh, daily motivation, um, just motivation to keep keep pushing forward in these in these times we're in. Because I don't care who you are, if you're out there, you definitely at some point um, have some sort, you know, have anxiety, depression. You have down times. We have we have people who pass around us. We have we have down points in our life, and we also have high times in our life. Um, but this video is just anyone out there struggling in any way. Um, what I just wanted to say was for me, how I, how I stay for my Mondays, the biggest thing that I do is I go, the biggest thing is I, if I'm not working on Mondays, I always like to go to the gym. Um, first thing I do when I get up, it's very good for your, for me, for my holistic health, um, in regards to, since I was a drug addict in my past, it's really good to get my, um, to get the blood flowing. Um, it's also naturally very good for anyone to get your dopamine going in your brain, um, your serotonin, your norepinephrine going. Um, it's also it's also critical um, to make sure you have a plan for the week. So what I like to do is typically on Sundays or Mondays, if I don't do it till then, I like to write down everything I want to get done for the week. Writing writing shit down is probably the most for people. It's it's not talked about enough, but it is one of the most powerful tools you will ever, that I've ever developed and that I've seen others develop. If you write shit down and you cross shit off every week, you'd be surprised how much shit you get done. Um, it's a, it's a tool for me that before, you know, I just maybe put stuff in my phone that I need to do or just keep it mentally or just keep it in my brain. Yes, you can do that, but there's just something about having a pen and paper. Um, for me that just keeps me it keeps me grounded in what I'm doing um also in regards to the week first this is just part of my daily routine um I like to when I get up I always like to if you have a higher power if you don't it's what it's whatever but with me I always like to just give gratitude and thanks to whatever got me clean I know it was my inward power I know it was my my in my desire to get clean my personal desire but i also give thanks for me and this doesn't go toward AA, NA. that actually didn't work for me that route um i just like to give thanks to really just the essentially just whatever it is out there that keeps me going you could say a higher power you could say god um if you wanted to um, i'm not super religious but i'm not non-religious so I just like to give thanks just to get the week going, keep my health going. And also I always like to before, before on Mondays in particular, even if I'm, you know, I'm not liking what I have to do for the week. If I'm super busy, I at least, I at least need to be, I always like to be thankful that I can at least, I woke up, I'm breathing, I'm walking, I'm, I'm able to get out and be independent. I'm able to drive a car, I'm able to make decisions because you have to realize right now that there's somebody that regardless of the situation you're in, that has it worse than you. And I don't like to do the comparing game, but for me, it's one thing that does help is there's somebody right now who is in the ICU on a ventilator that overdosed on drugs that said, oh, this will be my last one I'm gonna use. And then they, they ended up there they they overdosed god for i mean it's it's sad god forbid they passed but you know it's it's a game that it's something that it's not worth playing anymore so as much as i want to use as much as i want to get high i know at the end of the day that 
I, we should not take life for granted and that I can't take life for granted. I don't know about anyone else out there, but I feel like sometimes we do as a society, we take life for granted. And you might ask yourself, why do we do that? Or why, I ask myself, why do we take life for granted? And you know what my answer is? Because we're humans. That, that, that's part of it, is we are going to have time, we're going to have our own opinions on life. We're going to have our own feelings on what we think life is. We're going to have different desires. You're going to have different desires than your brother or sister out there. But at the end of the day, we're all humans. We are all humans out there, and we are all wanting to make a difference out there for others. And we want to become the best person. And I, and I, and I always, as I said, I don't like using the comparing method. Like I never, I don't think comparing yourself to others is always, is ever a good idea because that can actually bring down your own self-esteem and that can also create, uh, cons you know, that can create a monster inside yourself when you're comparing yourself. You can compare yourself to say, I strive to be like this person, but you should never look down on somebody and re and realize at the end of the, at the end of the day, you're not the person you're trying to compare yourself to. They can be an example to you, but they are not, you are your own person. You are your own person. Um, and also for me, as well as working out on a Monday, typically, um, right now I'm between jobs. When I get back in, when I get back into, uh, working, Typically, if I'm working as an R and I work three to four 12-hour shifts a week, I always like to make sure I'm trying, I'm sleeping well. And I know some nights it's hard to sleep, just depending on whatever is going on in your life. There, there's a lot of things that can make that can make sleeping really tough: anxiety, depression, etc. But that's that is also another reason I work out every day. Sorry if you hear that uh, the honking going off over there, the alarm on someone's car. Someone, someone's car just randomly started going off. I'm actually in the gym parking lot right now. Um, and lastly, I, I want to wrap this up. Um, I'm going to continue to be putting out videos every week. I mean, every every week, at least two in regards to motivation, mental health, but also all um, and drug addiction. And also I'll be covering a different mental health disorder every week. This was a really random video. I'm new to YouTube. I'm not actually not that big into tech at all. I've never been. Um, but I feel like during the times we're in, I feel like we're in, we're in a mental health crisis and we're only going to go into one that's a lot worse. We're going to be seeing a lot more people that are homeless as a result of what's going on around us. We're going to see a lot more mental health issues. I heard they, I heard that, I mean, God forbid child suicide, like is on the rise. Adolescent suicide is, yeah, I mean, it's just like what people are going to be looking for resources. And I just want to know, I just want to let everyone know that's out there. You can hear my story. You can look at my tramadol withdrawal story. I'll go over it more in other videos. But that you're not alone. And it's okay if you have a mental health disorder. Meaning, if you're diagnosed with bipolar, schizophrenia, schizoaffective, it is not an end-all at all. And that's the stigma that comes with it. A lot of people who are diagnosed with things like schizophrenia, bipolar, they refuse meds. They don't want to be med compliant because they think it'll make them... They think, you know... They, they think they're going to have a lot of side effects and they're not going to be right after it. As much as I'm all for natural alternatives, like Kratom and whatnot, everyone's different. Everyone is different out there. And I just want to let you know that, like for me, I suffer from anxiety um, and some bouts of depression. And I have, I mean, I have a, his, a family history of drug addiction. That's why I work in mental health. But I've seen plenty of people who have, I have, I've seen plenty of people who've been diagnosed with things like schizophrenia, bipolar, and they're doing great. About, you know, they're doing great now. They got on medications, they're working a plan. Um, and this isn't, pe and I know people say, oh, I don't have resources though to do that. You know, there's so many resources online now that can help you that, you know, you don't even really have to pay out of pocket a lot of times for it. Um, so yeah, that's what this channel's about. It's just covering mental health in general because I don't see enough of it. Um, I love you all. Uh, please leave a comment on just anything mental health wise. If you wanna, if you wanna open up and tell me about a little bit about your mental health, your story, I would greatly appreciate it. Or if you want me to cover a specific topic for a loved one or whatnot, I will do my best and I will cover it. Um, once again, I cannot give 
doctors or medical advice. I am an RN though, so I can give experiences, clinical experience that I've, uh, that I've seen, personal experience, but I can't give doses in particular on things. Um, I love you all and hopefully I can get a better uh, camera and stuff soon uh, once I get a new job. But outside of that, love you all um, and look out for some new videos.